Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get the current SIM card number, the phone number in your Android app in the API 34 Android 14. So let's begin. Let's create a new project. Name this as get current SIM phone number and click finish. Wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. Once the environment loads up, I'll do one thing. I'll start my Emulators in panel on the right hand side and uh, in the layout i think i already have got the text view which i'll keep it because i'll be using it as it is to display my output the phone number okay and i'll probably put a button to trigger the fetch so i'll just name this button as get phone number okay and then i'll just give some constraints required constraints Okay, so my emulator has come up in the parallel on right hand side. I'll just minimize it for the time being and focus over here. So perfect. I'll go back to my Java code and over here what I'll do is I'll create a public method, public void button get phone number view and I'll go back to my layout and I'll associate that method to the on click attribute of this particular button so that whenever this button is clicked this particular method is called also i'll do one thing i'll just create a class variable called text view and i'll assign this text view to the or associate this text view to the widget text view widget now i think i should do find view by id r dot id dot text view yeah, perfect so once it's done, now I can start my coding. So I'll use something called subscription manager for this case uh, for fetching the phone number. That's the new API for, uh, yeah, the previous one was telephone manager, but uh, I think now we have to use the, that one is deprecated. So we have to use a subscription manager. And over here, what we can use is telephony subscription service. Yeah. You may have to type class, so just yeah, cast expression. Perfect. So once this is done, then I can fetch the output in string format say if we need to string phone number and here i can use something called subscription dot get phone number perfect and subscription id you can put it default if it's a you know, i think single sim and also you can use the default subscription id and then i can use a text view to print it so set text and print my whatever the output here it's some error so it says add permission to read phone number yeah, just click here and i think it will add permission so how you can check it you can go to your manifest file and it would have added this part okay so if you can do it manually also it will automatically it will add it still is an error so let me see add permission check as well so just click on that and it will add the permission check whether uh this permission uh read phone number permission is granted or not okay if not, then it will return, otherwise it will continue and do the output. So that's all. I guess I can now run this code and see if it works or not. In the first run, it should ask uh, for the permission. No, I think I should have done one more thing. I should have added a check uh, request for the permission over here. So wait, I'll do one thing. I'll keep the, my app on the right hand side. I'll In the on create method itself, I'll do one thing. I'll add the request permission from the user to read uh, to do this. So, new string and the permission which we need is read phone number so you can just control c and control v over here uh, just press alt enter to, uh, yeah and then the last one will be package manager dot permission granted i'm not sure why it's something like that yeah no perfect fine. so now i'll rerun and it should ask for the permission in the first run yeah so allow allow and then click here see perfect so something has come up the phone number if you can see here and how you can verify this so go do one thing go to your settings and inside the settings okay let me go to the normal size go to the networks and internet go to the sim card uh also. so this is an emulator okay so this is not my sim of course and over here if you go to the edit, then you can see the phone number here. So it's 1555123145678. So I think it's easy to remember 1234567. Preceded by 555. So if I switch to my app 
as precise duty is 555 1234567 yeah so that's all i wanted to show you in this small video that how easy it is uh, to uh, fetch the phone number you have to just use the subscription manager and get phone number apply so rest of the things uh, yeah it will take care so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye